Israel is learning who their friends are, and there aren't many friends. This much is obvious. We know that there aren't many friends out there. Israel has serious, serious issues ahead of it. And one of those, of course, is knowing where their friends are. And part of that comes back to us when I talk about Israel and the mosque conversation, not just being about Jews. It is about us, the totality of Americans who recognize there is, a, a, in, in the Hebrew, the Yetzer Tov and the Yetzer Hara, the good and the evil. There's a right and a wrong. And it's up to us to be able to win elections to get there. This all goes back to the conversation regarding the Republican Party whether or not the Republican Party is up to the task. This leads to the conversation about the new speaker, the new speaker being Mike Johnson and whether or not he's ready for it. Now, Representative Kat Kamek out of Florida, I have never come to a moment where Representative Kat Kamek is not 100% ready for the fight. Tony Katz, good to be with you. Congresswoman Kat Kamek joins me right now. Uh, it's good to be with you. I know you are filing some bills on the on the House floor, uh, but I want to before getting into some of the Israel conversation that exists. So much of this is about whether or not Representative Mike Johnson, the Speaker of the House, is up to the task of not only helping Republicans win, but fighting back against some real insanity we're seeing on the political left, and the political left has decided to tell me that he is the biggest Christo-fascist who has ever lived in the history <laughs> of our Congresswoman. So uh, is Mike Johnson up for this? Hell yeah, he is. It is so funny how older liberal left media came out against him, and that's how we knew we were onto something. Just, I mean, every element of his life, his faith, his family, who have somebody who's very thoughtful, strategic, uh, a constitutional conservative, you combine that with that warm type of, you know, Southern hospitality, he's from Louisiana, and it can be quite effective. And I think you're going to see Mike Johnson jamming the Senate, jamming the White House, um, because he's a principled conservative, but he's also very disarming in that way that he's going to be effective in ways that we haven't seen before. So I'm, he's up to the task, he's up for the fight. Well, the pushback is already beginning on this $14.5 billion where he wants to take the money out of IRS funding and give that to Israel. This was uh, one of yeah. your colleagues, Democrat from New York, Dan Goldman, responding to that. Well, not the way that the Republicans are doing it, that's for sure. They are trying for the first time ever to condition emergency aid to Israel and, in fact, to any country that we provide emergency aid to uh, on some sort of other offset or requirement. And in this case, and I thought Joe put it so well the other day, it's to protect billionaires. And I know for Republicans, this may seem like a political game, but I can tell you for those of us who are Jewish, in America and around the world, this is no game. This is an existential fight yeah. for the existence of Israel. And it is-, it is odd to me, myself being Jewish, I don't think you have to be Jewish to think it odd, Representative Kamek, uh, that Dan Goldman thinks that uh, Speaker Johnson is playing a game, but it is his party that is lousy with members who are clearly, in my view, supporting Hamas. Yeah. This is exactly the fight that he's up against, as uh, Speaker Johnson is. How does how should he respond? Well, Representative uh, uh, from New York there, bless his heart. Uh, I serve with him on weaponization. And in the South, that's what we would say. Bless his heart. Um, you know, it's it's interesting that the minute that we find a pay for that goes against the political agenda of the left, they have to stomp and scream and, and make it about them. And in fact, when you look at what the 87,000 IRS agents that cost $81 billion, of which we are using a portion of the money to actually pay for the aid to Israel, that right there tells you that they're more interested in making sure that the middle class and working class are getting audited at every turn because that's what those 87,000 IRS agents were designed to do. We know that from the commissioner of the IRS. He even said it in a memo that that's what those people were designed to do. And then, of course, we have the element of the, the Hamas caucus. You have people who are unapologetically pro-Hamas, and they are saying without apology, without remorse, that they think that Israel should be wiped off the, the face of the earth. 